So I thought I'd go ahead and talk a little bit about self-tapping screws. We'll look at an example here. This is a self-tapping screw out of a Radio Shack Model 1. They tend to have very coarse threads, as this does. They're not machine screws. They are self-tapping. They're a very coarse thread. It's got a bit of taper on the end of it. What the self-tapping means is this. If we look at the top of the case here, there's these posts molded in. These posts are what receive the screw and that the screw threads down into. When this case was molded, there was no threads molded inside of the uh, this end. There was no threads. The first time the screw was driven in, it cut its own thread down into the plastic. It's really common for people to back these screws out, do work, just throw the screw in and crank it in. And if you don't do it correctly, you'll cut in a new set of threads. And the next time you'll cut a new set of threads. And pretty soon you have so weakened the plastic in there by cutting thread after thread that the screw no longer fits. And you get looser and looser screws and they don't pull tight. There's a pretty simple secret to putting these back together. And I will demonstrate it here. I'm going to leave the bottom off to make this a little easier to see. If you start the screw down in, oh, I flip this over. I'll try to do this. If you start the screw down in and you actually turn it backwards, you'll typically feel a little spot where it'll drop down, and there it is right there. If you turn it backwards gently, you'll feel a little spot where the screw will drop. And that's where it's dropping into the thread that was cut previously, and now it just spins down into that previously cut thread really easy. This way you're using the original threads that were cut on the plastic when the screw was first driven in. You're not stressing the plastic and destroying it. I'll do a second one here. Start the screw, turn it backwards gently, and there it was. I'll do that again. I don't know if that shows up on camera. I'll try to do it without my fingers in the way. Well, it's a little rough to do with my fingers out of the way, but if I turn it backwards, there's a little pop. It happened right there where the screw fell down into the previous like, cut threads, and now it's just a matter of turning it in. I know it's really stupid sounding and really simple. I'll do one more here. Almost always, if you're gentle and, and careful, with turning it backwards, I just felt it there where it dropped down in, and now I am starting that screw down into the threads that were cut before. It's a stupid, simple little tip. It was shown to me ages ago. I don't know by who. I remember at the time thinking that's absolutely brilliant. Uh, it's a great little tip to keep from wearing out the plastic side with self-tapping screws. I hope you found that useful, and we'll talk soon. Bye.